Hey guys, we are in Wyoming again. Uh, we just got here like 10 minutes ago and we're making nachos because we're starving. Um, so this is kind of our spring break trip, kind of a last minute spring break trip. I just found out last week that I would have time off this week. So we're just here for two nights. My sister was gracious enough to let us come back and that's about it, I don't know, we're not really, we're just, we're here to just relax and that's very much needed with all the house hunting and wedding planning things going on. Look at those. Do you wanna put salsa in it first or after? No. Oh, I did not realize the oven looked like that. It's speckled. When we wake, hear the birds and see the sun. Side by side our fears are done. Okay, it's been a couple hours. Um, someone needed me to write them a letter of recommendation that was due today, kind of a last minute thing they realized they needed. So I did that and John took a nap and then I'm trying to upload my YouTube video. Hang on, let's see. There you go. I'm trying to upload this video and it's taking forever. I've been doing it for like hours, I feel like. Um, and we're watching National Treasure. But I wanna turn on Harry Potter and have a marathon, right babe? You know it. <laughs> you know it. That's about it, that's what we're doing. Ready puppies? You're ready. Missed. We know what we have, let's hold on tight. Found what we're looking for in life. Call us crazy, but things are finally right. With you and I, the future is bright. Let it be known, I just kicked John's butt. Ten to four, right? Yeah. Over there. Oh, I'm laughing so hard. We played two more games, and guess who won both of them? Right. No, I won all three games. John had no idea how good I was at foosball. <laughs> All right, well, uh, change of plans. This idiot just jumped off the balcony of, you know, the upstairs like loft area. There's a balcony. We opened the door to go out there and like check it out and she just took off and bolted and the way the railing is, like there's, I mean, there's like no railing basically. So she just jumped right off and she's, limping she has like a big cut on her knee but other than that she seems okay she just ate her dinner and <clears throat> john patched her up but john is freaking out yeah she doesn't relax though she's not she's not limping well she's limping because she has a big band-aid on but she's not limping as bad as she was that was terrifying no. So we're just trying to see yeah. if we need to take her to the emergency yeah. vet tonight or just if it's just a gash on her leg then we you know we can take her in tomorrow. And if so, do we go all the way home and take her to our normal vet or do we go an hour away to an to a vet, you know, closer to here and then come back to Wyoming. <sighs> that was really scary. Could have been a lot worse. She's up and moving around, I guess, but yeah. Okay, so it's the next morning. I like did not sleep last night. This girl, always in good spirits, but she's really not putting any weight on her leg. Um, our plan was originally to just go to a vet that's 30 minutes from here when they open this morning at 7.30, um, but we would just feel more comfortable going to our emergency vet back in Denver, so we're packing everything up and we're leaving. And this has not been the relaxing trip that we were hoping for. I got here, had to write a recommendation letter, failed at uploading a video, and then my dog ran off the balcony. And now we're leaving. So, this is our life. Well, uh, hopefully she's okay. We're freaking out. Yeah, she's not even putting any weight on it. I'm gonna carry you now. Mom's gonna open the back. Oh. Okay. She 
jumped up here herself, so that's good. But this is where she fell from. That's, I don't know how many feet that is, but that's a lot. She, I like, they're so open, those like poles up there. I think she literally thought we were on the bottom floor and we were just okay. letting her outside and she just like ran and she just went boom. Oh, I'm gonna cry, let's leave. All right, it's been a crazy day, but we're back home. I was gonna update you on Scout. We um, we drove home from Wyoming and we just went straight to the vet and dropped her off. We couldn't go in because of coronavirus. So we came home and they called us an hour later. They did x-rays and a whole exam and they said she did not break anything. And I don't know how, but like she's got no internal damage, no broken bones. She just had a pretty big cut on her leg and they had to sedate her and stitch it up. And um, she has to wear a cone. We just have to go get one. <laughs> But she's doing so much better. She's actually walking on it now. So, anyway, it was quite a scary day. Come here. Do you want to show them? I'll show you her little cut. If you can see it, the stitches. Yeah. Poor baby. It could have been so much worse. So we're so, so, so thankful that she is even here with us right now. And um, we're never letting her out of our sight ever again. So... I think I'm just gonna end this video here. This was not the video that I was planning on making when I first started recording, but this is it. Hopefully my next video will be a little less depressing. But um, thanks for watching this and we'll see you guys next time. Bye. Even in the hard times, you and I can weather any storm.